Saint John Ud, Apostle of the Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary. Saint John Ud, a French missionary and founder of the Congregation of Our Lady of Charity, lived a life wholly devoted to the service of God and the imitation of Jesus Christ. Born in Ré, France, on November 14, 1601, he took a vow of chastity at the young age of 14, dedicating himself to a life modeled after the Lord. His commitment to this path is beautifully captured in the Apostle Paul's words in Philippians 2.5, In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, as St. John sought to embody Christ's spirit in every aspect of his life. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. After being ordained as a priest in 1625, at the age of 24, St. John immediately began ministering to victims of the plague, tending to them at great personal risk. His selfless dedication to those in need is a reflection of James 1.27, which teaches, Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. His relentless preaching of missions across France earned him the title of the greatest preacher of his time. In 1641, St. John founded the Congregation of Our Lady of Charity of the Refuge, providing a haven for prostitutes seeking to reform their lives. Two years later, he established the Society of Jesus and Mary to educate priests and carry out missionary work. His deep devotion to the Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary inspired him to write the first book on this devotion, Le Cœur Admirable de la Très Sainte Mère de Dieu. St. John had passed away on August 19, 1680, in Caen, leaving a lasting legacy of faith and devotion. His virtues were recognized as heroic by Pope Leo XIII in 1903, leading to his canonization in 1925. His teachings, particularly his exhortation to form Jesus in ourselves and his deep reverence for the Blessed Virgin Mary, continue to inspire the faithful. He famously taught, A man is no true Christian if he has no devotion to the Mother of Jesus Christ, and emphasized the need to give oneself entirely to God, seeking to destroy the life of sin and establish his life within us. He admired the humility of the Virgin Mary, recognizing that it was this virtue that attracted God's grace to her, making her worthy to be the Mother of God, the Queen of Heaven and Earth. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.